lovely start to the week. Uh, yeah, I've been meaning to do that for a while. I said like a couple weeks ago I would do it a couple weeks ago and I never did. So I was like, I realized that I needed somebody to go with because I was so nervous to go by myself. I was shooting two different pistols to see. I wanted to shoot like a big one and then one that's good for concealing so that I could kind of see which way I wanted to go. I ended up shooting two that are good for concealment, not a big one. Um, I shot the Shieldsmith and Wesson, which I thought I was definitely going to end up shooting, like end up getting. I thought I was sold on it from all the research I'd done. Uh, I'm not going to be getting that. That was, that kick was ridiculous. And the, um, what was that called? Chamber release? No. What is that? The slide. The, the, you slide it back and lock it. And then release your slide. So the slide release, is that correct? I don't know. The slide release was like so bad. I had to, I, I could not push it to close it. I had to pull back to close it. So I wonder if that's a safety feature. If it is, I hate it. Um, yeah, I shot it twice. And then I was like, eh. I don't like it. The, another one that I thought I was not going to like because it's so small was the Glock 43X, but it shot fine. I'm torn though because I want a longer barrel than the Glock 43X because longer barrels equals less kick usually. So, yeah. I don't know. We will see. I'm going to do shooting a couple more times before I end up buying something. But that was fun. And now she's following me back to my place for some chili and possibly some pool time. We'll see. Oh, and it's Abogene. You guys know her from last vlog. It's crazy to see each other two weeks in a row. Goodness. Gotta keep this up. Um, to preface, I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea, and I don't know if what I want to say about that. If it's not for you, don't don't do it. If it is for you and for me personally, who walks home at night at 2 a.m., I probably shouldn't say which street I walk home, but who walks at night after work alone, who works in an area that had a high chance of an active shooter several times since I've been working there. Like, it makes sense for me to do this, and I'm going to do it because I want to be more of a threat to people who are a threat to me than they are to me, if that makes sense. So, I don't take it lightly. I am not going to carry until I am proficient with shooting. So, just going to put that out there. I don't think, I think everyone should have the right to carry, but I don't think morally that it's wise or responsible for you to carry if you do not know what you're doing. That's what I will say. So me personally, I'm not going to carry unless I know what I'm doing. Just put all that out there. <laughs> Just in case anybody was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Why is this Toyota minivan driving 25 miles an hour?
guys at home. Good morning. I haven't filmed anything at all since Sunday, I don't think. I have been a procrastinator this week. It's not been good. I edited my vlog from last week yesterday. So, anyways, <laughs> um, we're putting together an outfit because yesterday I was like, I'm gonna put together a sloppy outfit because I'm not in the mood, but then I actually put together a killer outfit. So I need to learn just to film every time. I'm not pretending like I know what's gonna happen. You never know. Anyways, looking for something that I want to wear. Anything in general. about my white collared shirt underneath this backless crop top it ain't too bad but it's no food over my black and white houndstooth pants let me see how this looks first. I don't know if this is gonna work. I mean, it's a look. We're gonna go with it because we slept in too long. Per usual. And we're going to not shoot in our pants. It's the end of the day now, but um, this is my outfit. <laughs> this is how it turned out. It's cute. I don't know if I would do this pairing again. I'm not obsessed with it. I thought maybe about tying this, but yeah, I'm just not obsessed with putting a white collared shirt underneath it, but that was the outfit. The day is over. I've washed my dishes. I folded my laundry and I'm getting ready to take a bath and go to bed. So see you tomorrow. Our customers brought us donuts. This one's good. This one's good. That one's the best. Again, I find myself worried for humanity. In what way is that a parking spot when I'm in what? In where are I don't understand. Two left lanes, one right lane blocks, several lanes, 40 eastbound before the Davidson Wilson County line stops the traffic there. Also have a crash on 65 southbound at Dickerson Road, one on Dickerson Road. Oh my gosh, I almost filmed that class but I didn't I really wish I had first of all I don't know if you can even see that oh yes you can oh boy I <clears throat> think I was very close to passing out <clears throat> and I said that with the last class that I was that I went to. <clears throat> two vlogs from now. Just two weeks ago I said, oh, I, I think I almost passed out. No, no. That was not close. This was, I was like swaying. The room was like fuzzy. <laughs> also, it's the first class where I've like involuntarily screamed. Like, they had us doing something and I just didn't have anything left. And they're still yelling at us to hit the path. So I did start hitting the, like, I started hitting mainly with my right, because my left just had nothing left in it. So I started hitting with my right, and then all of a sudden just, ah, came out. And I kept, like, I just, ugh. Ah. I don't usually, like, when they say, give me a grunt or a growl so I can, you know, let me know you're there. Because we're all supposed to be, we're technically supposed to be going like, ah. But I never do. If anything, I just exhale. I go tch, 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 <laughs> when I'm eating. And that was the first time I just like really. Uh, I gave I gave that. I, like, my left had nothing in it, so I was just hitting with my right really, and like pushing away with my left. And I think that was the most powerful right hand punches I've ever hit, which makes zero sense because I was exhausted. So you think you're going to be really weak when you're exhausted, but I think because it was like, just do it, that I was like, ah! <laughs> so, it's nice to know that's in there somewhere, if I need it. I literally cut myself, like not cut, but it looks like a, like a splinter, or when you like,
like scrape your skin on something from my nails because I've been punching and whenever whenever I go to punch I just wish I cut my nails because you have to roll them and so your nails just dig into your skin it's really hard and that's with my nails I've seen girls come into class and they have like full pedic pedicures manicures manicures pedicures and feet right uh manicures they have full like manicures like long nails on and they're punching they're punching like like this because they can't punch like this I got a punch like this which is like really bad for your hand but anyways today's class was nothing but punching I'm so dead ah <laughs>
you're on this way because you're on my charger. I was getting ready to go to bed. I just like clicked my alarm and a text from my sister pops up. And I don't, part of me feels like it's really f silly that I just bawled my eyes out. And then I'm also like comprehending something that I've never been able to comprehend before. A Minecraft YouTuber just passed away. And I don't know how recent of it. The video they just posted was an hour ago. And the more I thought about it, the more I started to cry. And then I watched the video, which was his dad reading his final words to his fans and his followers. And I think part of me was like, this is absurd that I'm crying over someone I've never met. But then I realized how much of my life the past year the past two years since 2020 has been extremely affected by these people and I think I always heard about the influence that these that influencers or you know anybody has but I've never been actually attached to somebody before like emotionally attached And, I don't know, like, there are so many moments that I keep thinking about. There are, there are quotes from him that I say. I think even one of my Instagram posts was a quote from him. Like, this all sounds, it sounds shallow. It sounds shallow, but, like, I, I don't know. It's like, even though you don't ever know them or meet them, they have this like they made you laugh on all of these all of these different videos and you got to know their personality so much and <sighs> like he came out a while ago and said he had cancer but I thought he had beaten it and apparently he passed away eight hours after writing that letter It's just, I don't know. It's crazy to think about, like, people never being in the world again. Like, we're not going to hear his voice again. We're not going to maybe just hear his voice because that's all he showed. <laughs> so many memories. And it's just, I don't know, it's mind-boggling me how much effect somebody who I've never met has on me right now. Just, like, the amount of memories that I have that he doesn't have because we didn't have them together, but I have them. <laughs> Has, uh, oh my gosh, I was just thinking of all the things that I've said in the past that were his words. Just how invested, I don't know, I guess I didn't realize how invested I was in this, sorry, in this until right now. And now I'm like, oh crap, <laughs> I am really, really invested in this, these group of people. I don't really know what I was going to say. I don't think I had like a point to this. I think, I don't know, life is precious. <laughs> life is precious and if you are, I don't know why anybody who is anybody would be watching this, but if you are, then like, I don't know, your impact is real.
it seems like such a shallow thing to be looking to make people happy. Like, I know I've thought about that a lot. Being like, oh, I want to write books and I want to make movies. And I'm like, oh, that's such a shallow thing. And I should probably be trying to be like a doctor or a nurse or a paramedic or a cop or, you know, somebody who actually makes a difference. But, like, I don't know. I think you are making a difference when you're making people laugh when you're giving them a release and an escape and especially through 2020 they really came through for a lot of people and I think only now am I realizing how much that meant to me and how many core memories like I keep using that phrase in my everyday life but core memories have this group of people holy cow Anyways, I need to go to bed. I'm gonna go to sleep. Probably gonna cry about it a bit more, but I need to go to bed, so. I guess. Don't take advantage of your time and strive to make people smile, I guess. I don't know. Does there need to be a point to this clip? I don't know. Why does there need to be a point to this person's life instead of, like, a friend of mine died? I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I need to explain myself. I don't know. But I'm gonna go to bed instead of talking more. <laughs> Bye. I think it was in December 2020. Um, blew up the whole what I just showed you, but they finally opened it up. But it's fenced off, obviously, on both sides for pedestrians. So I had this morning off because of the fourth. Um, just the morning. I'm gonna go to work in the evening, but I had this morning off and. Every part of me this morning wanted to just sleep in. But I was like, no, you sleep in on Sundays. Go do something interesting on the weekend before the 4th. Okay, just go do it. So Krav Maga was having a workout class at 10. Not like a Krav Maga training session, just like working out. And so I was like, okay, I think I'm going to do that because at the end of the day, I'm like, that's not me getting up any earlier than I usually would because uh, because we start work, or like we open at 10 usually, so I'm up, you know, that's a normal time, so get up and go work out. And then I was like, and I really want to shoot another gun, so, and now we're going to go home, we're going to get my contacts and eat something for breakfast, and then I'm going to go shooting again. Um, I want to shoot, the reason I'm going back so soon is I want to go shoot the 48X. I knew about the 43, but I didn't know about the 48. I feel like I'm not making any sense right now.
through it? Have you figured it out? Yes, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like the kick is less. Right. And I like how fast. I don't know what you call that sugar pool. Yeah. It's it's a lot faster. There's so much anticipation here. I start like anticipating it oh, right. before it comes. So the it's probably got some dirt stuff in there. It's probably just a little bit gritty. Okay. So it might be just a cleaning thing. For for the trigger pool? Yeah. Like really? Yeah. Oh. So they both have the same. Yeah. It should be so it exactly should be the same. The way it should going. be five and a half pounds each. But sometimes, as they've been used in the rentals, then. Yeah they'll just, it might be a little bit grittier because of the carbon buildup in there. So that affects how, so I feel like when I'm squeezing, it takes a really long time to get to the trigger versus this one. So this is, we call it the take up. Okay. So your trigger pull doesn't start here. That's just for you to get your finger in position. Yeah. And now here is what we call the wall. Now you start increasing your pressure doesn't that, that's forever. Yeah. That was so much faster. It right. scared me the first time I got it because I was ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> the less you are thinking, the better. So I like it. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, that one's good too. I don't it know. might be, yeah. it could be a matter of the <laughs> Oh yeah, it's wicked dirty down in there. So it could be a little, a little bit of oil. Apparently the boys up clean very often. A lot of a lot of buildup in there. Two 
rows of bullets. I don't know what to, to call them. I think they're called racks, but now I'm like second guessing myself. Anyways, the 19 has two, and both the 43 and the 48 are so thin because they only have one, which means you only have 10 bullets. Which I would rather have more than that. Because if I have in a scenario where I'm going to need to actually shoot, not just need to have a gun, because a lot of scenarios you can get out of just by pulling the gun and that ends the situation, right? It's the threat of, right, it's not actually firing. If I am in a situation where I actually have to fire, I think I'm going to need more than 10 bullets. And even if I did, I don't know if you can get a mag extender, but if I did, number one, that makes the gun bigger, which defeats the purpose of it, but also, like, what are you going to get, like 12 bullets? I don't know. I said I didn't make up my mind, and so the guy was like, I think that means you buy both. <laughs> I was like, just carry one in front, one in back. There you go, now I got 20 bullets. Oh, I don't know. And they were both the same magazine. So they're, I'm not gonna get both, don't worry. I don't have that kind of money. The thing that doesn't make sense in my mind is that everything I want is the 48, but my gut is telling me 43, and I shot better with the 43. Why is this person? They're almost like sight swiped. I don't know. Now time to go to the pool. We'll worry about that another time. I'm not buying a gun until October anyway, so I've got time.